Good morning to Anana. Yesterday we discussed about how to determine stress matrix and strain matrix for one bar element. Now, with that we will continue our next derivation that is called derived stiffness matrix for bar element. How we call it a one dimensional bar element. To derive one dimensional bar element stiffness matrix, first we should write or we should represent the bar element. We know that what is a bar element? A two noded element. A two noded element having so one degree of freedom. Now we first represent your natural coordinate system variation that is zeta equals to minus one two, zeta equals to plus one, node one and two. Now from origin, draw an origin point. From origin you can represent this axis as x. Now from origin, the distance from origin to node one, we can take it as x one, the distance from origin to node two, you can take it as x2 x2 now from here to here that is in between 1 and 2 we call it as a x2 minus x1 that will be equal to length of the element le now if you want to derive a stiffness matrix the basic thing required is first you should know what is the potential energy function i think already we have derived in the first module uh, what is your potential energy functional what is the meaning of strain energy what is the meaning of work potential everything we have derived and we are uh, so discuss in your first module. Now directly I'll take what is first potential energy functional. Pi will be equal to strain energy plus work potential. Strain energy plus work potential. Now this we you know we already derived an expression what is pi in your first module. Pi can be expressed as expressed as half into volume integral sigma transpose epsilon into dv minus volume integral u transpose f into dv minus surface integral u transpose t into ds minus summation of ui transpose into pi ui transpose into pi this is the expression that we are derived in your first model now in this the first term of this expression indicates your strain energy and remaining terms, remaining three terms indicate your work potential. Now, if you want to derive a stiffness matrix, you should remember, see, the term strain energy will be, if you use and if you go for solving it, you are going to get a stiffness matrix for any element, any element. See, the variation will be based on its shape functions and degree of freedom, your stiffness matrix will vary. Apart from that, this is the basic term we are generally used to derive the stiffness matrix for any element. Now what remaining three terms are there? The three terms will give you a load vectors for the element. Load vectors for the element. Now if you take your second term, second term expresses load where you can determine load vector due to body force. If you take your third term, that is you are going to derive an expression called load vector due to traction force and one for the last term that is called point load vector. Now our main intention is to derive first what is the stiffness matrix for bar element. Now I am going to take only a strain energy. Now I will write strain energy will be equal to R. UV will be equal to half into volume integral sigma transpose epsilon into D. I will take this as equation number 1. Now what are the expression I am saying? This expression is for 3 dimensional because it is in terms of volume. Now we should reduce it to 1 dimensional. We should convert this into one dimensional because our element is 1D bar element or one dimensional element. To convert this, now I'll take this off into now I'll make it volume integral into line integral. Okay. Sigma already we are derived from the previous expression. We know that what is sigma inside I'll write sigma is equal to E B Q epsilon is equal to B Q. This already in previous derivation we are derived. Now I'll write here sigma is equal to E b q transpose i'll keep it epsilon is equal to b into q now i'll write here a into dx a into dx now i'm converting db into a into dx a into dx now if you take this now here a into dx is there length of the element is there but if you observe this b is in terms of 1 by le okay now I can make some alteration because I want to convert dx is there, I don't want dx, I will convert it to your natural coordinate system because the limit is varying from minus 1 to plus 1. To convert this, 
they have a relation between natural and global coordinate system that is zeta is equals to 2 into x minus x1 divided by x2 minus x1 minus 1. Now if you differentiate this you are going to get d zeta is equal to or d zeta, dou zeta by dou x is equal to 2 by Le. I think previous derivation also we discussed 2 by Le. How 2 by Le? Because if you differentiate this 2 will be as it is. Differentiation of x will be 1. Okay. A minus x1 is 0. Divided by x2 minus x1 is your length of the element that is 2 by Le. Now this can be written as d zeta or dx will be equal to or dou x sorry dou x will be equal to 2 by Le into no sorry Le by 2 into just write it here Le by 2 into d zeta. Le by 2 into d zeta. Just if you keep dx you can send that side. You can bring this side Le by 2 into d zeta. Now I will take this two here. If I will take just two here. Now my expression becomes is equal to half. I will keep it as it is. Okay. Now already we are converting for your converting dx into d zeta. Now our limits become minus 1 to plus 1 because zeta will vary from minus 1 to plus 1. You can change your limits to minus 1 to plus 1. Then E B Q transpose into B Q into A is there as it is you can write. Now dx can be done as L E by 2 into D zeta. L E by 2 into D zeta. Now this will become now simplify this. I can write this like this half into now I will take Q outside. I will write Q transpose. Okay minus 1 to plus 1. Now, Ng's modulus is a constant and keep it as it is. E. Now, B I will write as a B transpose into B. Now, I will take all the terms A, Le by 2 into D zeta into Q. Into Q. Now, if you observe this, this expression can be formulated like this of into Q transpose Ke into Q. Now this will be written as like this. This term I will take it as a Ke. Now Ke is nothing but element of stiffness matrix of stiffness matrix. Now see this is the expression of into Q transpose K into Q. Why Q transpose K into Q? Because Q is a dependent parameter. How much force you are going to apply based on that you can get the deformation. Okay. Okay. This is a dependent parameter. Because of this if you apart from this if you observe all are your constant parameters. Constant parameters. Now I am going to deck Ke. Now I will write what is Ke exactly. Ke will be equal to. Ke will be equal to. Now what are the term it is there? I'll write minus one plus one. Ye, ye, le by two. Now I'm combining all the terms. B transpose into B into D zeta. B transpose B into D zeta. Now if you observe. E by E into L E by 2 is a constant. I will keep it outside. Minus 1 to plus 1. B transpose into B into D zeta. Now from the previous derivation we know that what is B? B is equal to 1 by L E minus 1 plus 1. What is B transpose? B transpose is nothing but B transpose is nothing but converting rho into column 1 by L E into minus 1 1. Now, if you observe above equation, you have to calculate what is B transpose into B. Now, if you write here 1 by Le minus 1, 1, 1 by Le minus 1, 1. You can solve this, you are going to get 1 by Le square. Now, if you multiply it, that is rho into column minus 1 into minus 1 plus 1, minus 1 into plus 1, minus 1, 1 into minus 1, minus 1. Minus one. That means you are going to get B transpose into B is equal to one by L E square, one by L E square into one minus one minus one one. Okay. Now after this, I will take from this. I will directly go to your what is K E? Now K E is equal to K E is equal to. Now from your expression, A E by L E by two. A into L by 2 is constant. Then B transpose B. That is minus 1 to plus 1. B transpose B into D zeta. Now if you observe this here. A E. L E by 2. Already we calculated what is B transpose B from your previous expression. That is 1 by L E square. Minus 1 plus. Sorry. 
plus 1 minus 1 minus 1 1 now this is also le square this is also constant now le le square one term cancels now this side because it is constant I'll keep it outside into dz now if you observe this I can write this ae by 2 le 1 minus 1 minus 1 1 1 minus 1 minus 1 1 minus 1 plus 1 into dz now this is e by 2 le 1 minus 1 minus 1 1 now minus 1 to plus 1 dz it looks like constant now what is the differentiation of constant is a zeta okay minus 1 plus 1 the limit is minus 1 plus 1 now if we solve this a e by 2 le 1 minus 1 minus 1 1 first apply your upper limit plus 1 upper limit minus of lower limit if minus of minus 1 it will become it will become how much it will be equal to 2 now these two there is numerator and these two will be cancelled then you can get a e by l e a e by l e 1 minus 1 minus 1 1 that is equal to k. Now this is called elemental stiffness matrix.